Hey everyone, Aja here from Pandemonium. Today I'm going to be working on a project. It's just a quick short project. Let me show you. I've had to rearrange a few things here at the sink, but this is what I want to install. Since I don't have filtered water here, this is straight from the tank. I want to actually install this, which is going to be piped down and into this barrel here, which is already filled with filtered water. And I'm going to drill a hole in the top and install this tube. This was the original tube that came with the water pump. And I like this water pump because it's automatic. You just turn it on. And it'll be nice for filling up pots or water containers when I am cooking. I had originally thought to put it there where the soap dispenser is, but... It is too big to go there and sticks out too far. I'd have to have it angled like this, which is not what I want. I just think it looks better over here at the end of the counter. That way it's more accessible for larger pots. Or I can turn it and fill something in here. Luckily, this is just a Flamica countertop. And it's very easy to drill through because I installed this sprayer here. It didn't originally come with one, and I installed that, and I know it's very easy to drill through this, so that's all I have to do. I have all the parts laid out that I purchased from the hardware store. There's just a PVC pipe, and then a coupling here which fits into this. It'll go slide onto the PVC pipe. Then I've got these couplings. This one goes on top, and it'll fit down into the hole. And this one will come underneath and screw it on to keep it in place. And this hose will be connected under here and run through and down through the cabinet into the water container. There are all different kind of methods you could use to get filtered water. I could actually um, put a filter right onto my faucet. And I did try to do that, but unfortunately it will not fit onto this faucet. It's a little complicated. And I like the fact that I can just take that jug out, it's separate once it's empty and then just take it to go get refilled and put it back in. I actually got this idea from a friend of mine. They had it installed in their rig and I really liked it. So I'm just gonna copy that. This is why the filter didn't fit. It had an adapter, but the threading is messed up on this. I could replace the whole thing and put the filter on there. Also, it's big and clunky right here and not very good for when you're trying to wash dishes. I'd actually thought to put it here, but I like these more accessible. There's an air fryer and the coffee pot. The coffee pot is easier to fill when it is right here. And I just like it up against the wall over there. Just marking the spot before drilling. That way I know the positioning is right. Well, I was just going through my tools and the largest hole saw that I have is one and a half. I swear I bought a two inch, but it's not there, so obviously I didn't. I'm going to go check with my friend to see if he has a two inch. And if not, then I'll have to run to the hardware store. Luckily, my friend had the two inch drill, so I didn't have to run to the hardware store. Eventually, I do want to replace this whole countertop with a wooden countertop because I don't like this cheap Flamica stuff, but that's a later project. So for now, let's get drilling. This hole was easy, this hole not so much. There's different layers and I think it's the top of the cabinet also that I'm drilling through. So I took this off just to make sure. I can't really see under there. Anyways, I'm almost through so I just gotta drill a little bit more. Made it all the way through, now time to clean up the mess. I cleaned everything up. Now I'm just gonna install this. It's a good thing I opened this cabinet. So this goes on the bottom, this goes on the top, and just screw it in. Wait, Let me make sure that is not on the front side. And there, it's in. Ah. Yep, 
can't move it. So now I just have to cut this extension to the height I want. Okay, I marked the spot, how tall I want it. I'm just gonna cut it. Ta-da! Does everyone still have their digits? Yep, <laughs> thankfully. I did get scary for a minute. Okay, here is the extension. Turn it that way so the letters aren't showing. Smack it in. Grab this piece, I already have that installed. So this just slides on top. All right, and that is it. Yay! So I can turn it. So if I want to fill something inside the sink, I can do that. Or if I want to fill something outside, it's right there at the edge, and I can just fill it. Awesome sauce. Oh yeah, I forgot about the hose. <laughs> and I also have to drill in the top of the um, five gallon container. I fed the hose through, now I just have to connect it to the pump. So for this step, I got a 3 8 drill. I made sure it was the right size and it is just perfect. Grabbed a scrap piece of wood so I don't drill through the counter. That was simple. Mm -hmm. The cap is done and the hose is inserted. I had to take this out of the original hose. This just prevents anything large going up into the pump. I was gonna heat this coil up really quickly uh, cause it's, it's curved so it doesn't reach all the way down. But instead, Jeff got this connector here and I'm gonna hook the regular hose back into it cause it's not curled and it will reach the bottom of the tank. That's actually much better. Okay, we just have to test and see if it works. Ta-da! We have water, filtered water. Amazing. Does that sound make you want to pee? And for larger pots, it works out this way too. Okay, I've got the face of the cabinet put back on and this tucked back out of the way. All in all, I would say this project was very simple. I would definitely consider this a simple DIY and I do love it when projects go well. But I don't know if I forgot to mention this. This is a Primo water filter. This is not a paid advertisement. Uh, I bought that from Walmart and I just had it on my bottle and my bottle was always in the way. So I like that it's now underneath the cabinet out of the way. I don't have to worry about tripping over it or, or knocking into it. And the pump is easy accessible on top of the countertop. So if you enjoyed this project, please give me a thumbs up. And hopefully we'll see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now.